Hello everyone. Welcome to Get My Harvest. I am Chetna and I am Vihan. Friends, there are some vegetables that boost our immunity. And the good news is that I eat most of these vegetables. The first immunity boosting vegetable on my list is broccoli. Broccoli can be grown from seed or you can also buy baby broccoli plants from your local plant nursery. These obviously grow in winters and they do not require a lot of care. Broccolis boost immunity because they are a source of beta carotene and also contain trace minerals like zinc. Let me show you where I am growing broccoli in my vegetable patch. Is this big enough? Or do you think you want to try this one? Or do you think you want to try this one? Or you want to try this one? I think they are still small. Did you know that one cup of broccoli contains as much vitamin C as an orange? This is the area in my vegetable patch where I'm growing my spinach. So spinach or palak is the second uh, vegetable that I would recommend um, as an immunity boosting vegetable. I recommend growing this in batches so that you can get harvest at different stages. Spinach is also very rich in vitamin C and beta carotene. But one piece of advice with spinach as well, make sure you cook it as little as possible if you want to retain its nutrition. The third vegetable on my list for immunity boosting vegetables is garlic. Well, garlic um, is antiseptic, antibacterial and antifungal. So it, is a, it has a good number of properties so that it can be included in your diet. You can grow garlic from um, individual garlic pots. I have already done a video on how to grow garlic. You can grow it in garden beds or in pots or in containers. I'll show you where I am growing um, my garlic. This is um, another garlic that I harvested um, when I was harvesting um, the entire crop. And we like to add uh, the garlic greens to our soups and stir fries. When your garlic cloves have sprouted, you can put grass clippings or dried leaves near them because this will keep them warm and will prevent weeds. And garlic hates weeds. The fourth vegetable on the list is my favorite, peas or mutter. They are rich in vitamin C and also the bone building vitamin K as well as manganese. You can grow peas from seeds and they require winters as well as sun to grow. This is the pot in which I am growing um, my pea plants. This pot is kept um, at a sunny spot in my balcony. You can see flowers of the pea. Yeah, the flowers look white. There's another flower here. It is only after flowering that you will get the fruit. Final vegetable on my list for immunity boosting vegetables are red bell peppers or red capsicum. Well, they are very rich in vitamin C. In fact, half a cup of uh, red bell peppers supply more than 150% of your vitamin C needs for a day. You can grow bell peppers from seeds or from baby plants that you can buy from your local plant nurseries. But they thrive in summers, so they are a hot weather crop. And I have also noticed one more thing with bell peppers. When you grow them, they start green, then they turn chocolate brown. And it is only after that that they turn red. So they don't start growing red. You shouldn't get scared when you try growing red bell peppers and you see green and brown bell peppers coming. Because you have to wait, they will turn red. If you want to retain nutrition in red bell peppers, you should cook them as little as possible. Try not to overcook them. One of my friends, Ryan, used to eat bell peppers as a snack. 
Now I know why. Because he wanted to grow strong. Stay tuned for my video on how to make a quick stir fry out of these immunity boosting vegetables. In case you liked watching this video, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, share this video with at least 5 friends of yours. Thank you for taking our time for watching this video.